Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see introduction about the JavaScript framework in the Odoo. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to use no group one feature once you active the debug mode after the some functionality visible so in case you missed that discussion please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo you can visit the weblens channel under the playlist you can see different odoo development playlist available with the different topic wise with the real task cases and in case you need any support related odoo you can visit the about page and send your query to this email address source code also available in the github make sure you can follow and we have a different social media pages make sure you can follow to get the latest update so let's back to our main topic about javascript framework in the old side so let's say uh, we are not talking about the oval framework at the moment this is the older framework and upcoming new versions this framework will be replaced by with the fully oval framework please note this point so we already aware about the backend framework which is the ORM object relational mapping right and which is written in the python language but the front end framework developed in the javascript framework and in odoo side uh, this javascript framework designed with the three different layers the first one is the web client the second is the point of sale and third one is the website or the portal you can say right so let's say what about the web client right so web client is nothing but the backend javascript framework which is designed to handle the business data and uh, gui part and especially for the widgets rpc and all okay the point of sale is specifically designed for the point of sale related framework which is available only for the one single page application it is also designed for the business data all right and the third one is the website and the portal so here this is for the end user framework and you can also say the multi page web application language all right so this is the simple uh, standard structure to define the javascript files right so under the custom module you can create a static folder inside the static folder you have to define the js file the images then after css or scss or the xml templates data so here this is the structure let's say the js is the folder img also the folder css and scss or the xml you can create such type of folders to define different types of files right uh, don't worry about this file structure we will cover this part in a later session so here while you create a javascript framework you have to know one more and very important thing is the assets so what is assets so it's assets is nothing but the collection of the files such as let's say the javascript scss scss css like that and the good part is this assets functionality the core functionality available in the web module inside the views and the file name is the web client underscore templates dot xml here this is the very interesting part while you are trying to migrate from older version to the newer version that time this functionality comes to the picture okay uh, especially to migrating the javascript framework so the thing is in the odoo 14 or the older version we can define that js file or scss file or css file in the xml side inside the xml side we have to define like this inside this template right we have to use like different kind of assets let's say the assets command assets front end like that and inside the assets you have to define the different types of files right but let's say in the version 15 or the newer version right and now like let's say in october the new version is released to 17 so all the new versions defining the assets file it's replaced in the manifest file so instead of defining everything in the xml side now onwards in these versions we have to define in the manifest file so you can see uh, in the manifest file you can see the assets key also available right and different types of you can see here uh, different keys or sub keys also available so what is the purpose right we will see in our later session so there are main three types of assets available in the Odoo. The first one is the assets common, 
the second one is the assets back end and third one is the assets front end so common is for all over all the javascript framework we can use directly so we can uh, define such logic or features inside the assets common and another thing is the assets underscore backend this one we can specially use in the backend side the backend javascript framework right and then after the assets underscore front end this is specially used for the website and the portal related stuff so i hope you understood these three main assets so here there are useful features available in the javascript framework the first one is the widget ajax rpc qf template engine notification session translation views fields widget and many more so here i just highlighted some main features supported by the javascript okay and here like while you develop any kind of uh, applications in the javascript end so you have to remember two things the first one is the extend and another is the include so whenever you try to create any functionality in the javascript side so you can see this is the simple demo here i just copy paste from the official odoo website like you can create a one js file which is the a.js inside the first line we can use here the odoo.define and here you can see this is the module right so here you have to replace your module name and after that this a you can define any unique name to identify this spe this specific js code to use for the other references right and after that you can do your stuff here so here whatsoever you are doing like let's say you are trying to use the existing features with your own business logic that time you can use the extend functionality but let's say if you are trying to inherit the existing functionality and you are trying to extend that functionality that time you can use the include feature all right so here you are trying to inherit the widget existing widget functionality and you are trying to create your own widget without interfering the existing different widgets so in this case we are using the extend method extend feature but let's say if you are trying to override the some functionalities or let's say you are trying to add some new functionalities into the existing feature that time you can use the include so here this is the main two different things extend and the include all right so here let's see different file structures in the existing module and then after we will see the how to create a javascript file how to act, use the extend or include functionality all right so here in the pie jump like let's say i'm using this version 15 so you can see this is the web module and this web module very useful you can see here in the static src and you can see here all the core features related odoo framework is available not only the src but in the libs right including in the libs you can see here so here let's say the core features right you can see different functionality is available right the registry orm service right user service domain context assets and different things here if you see here in the fields folder you can see only the field related core logic is available then after legacy code you can see here then after the public the js files is available here for the search functionality the control panel logics it available here then after the views different views right the different kinds of views available also here then after the this is the main one the web client it is also available here so web client basically handles the actions the menus nav bar right and all the stuff it's available here and this is the boot.js file so without this boot it won't be load any kind of data so this is the core part of the javascript framework right and the interesting thing is in the manifest file you can see here it's defined assets here if you already know the javascript framework a little bit right so you can see in the older version we have to define in the uh, let's say like a template then after assets and under here we have to define the 
same thing like this structure we have to define in the XML set but now let's say in the version 15 and the latest version you can see we have to define in the manifest file the main key is the assets and here you can see there are a lot of assets also available so you can see so assets qweb right minimal the common this is the common files we can register so it will access in the pos backend and the front end framework this is only for the back end this is only for the front end right like this but let's say what about the pos right we already discussed so you can see here in the pos You can see here the POS assets available right like this way. So you can just try to extend this part and let's say if you are working with the front end side right the website and all stuff you can use like this. So this is the thing here and one more thing is this is the back end one right you can see here. So right now I didn't activate the assets mod right let me active the assets mod. And now you can see here all the JavaScript files you can see here. So let's say this account, right? Static assets in JS. So here you can see these files, JS files are available, right? And same here, this is the website, right? And if I will inspect, you can see here the account static assets in JS is available, right? You can see here the tools and these files these js files are available right here like more than 10 files is available including in the tools so if you see here you will surprise like only the one portal related js file is available not all the files you can see here under the same framework you can see like this but in the front end framework you can see only one why because only this file this assets file is registered in the front end and remain is registered in the back end side and same like here also this is the pos system right pos related js files is available so i hope you understood about this asset structure and the basic introduction about the javascript framework and don't worry about these frameworks i already created session which is the client side validation and here i just explained how to create a new javascript file how to use the extend by mistakenly i used here exclude keyword here starting of the session right after that the odoo throws the exception after we just used like extend so after that like we created this method and simple this is the validation like once you submit the form view and it will first check all the client side validations and then after it will submit the request to the server to store the data actually so this is the especially the front end framework right uh, i have just created this session already in the portal side so please check this part like how to create such kind of javascript file how to include also in the manifest file like this way okay so that's it for this session and if you have any doubt related this session please comment below and see you in our next session so here i will not complete full javascript introduction i just aware about the basic stuff only and uh, now onwards we are trying to extend more functionalities in the backend javascript framework the pos development as well as in the website level functionality all right and if you have any specific topic you want to learn right especially in the front end side please comment below and yes the oval framework also coming soon all right so see you in our next session